Hey guys, my name is Jade Wee and welcome to Dallas Jamming. In this video, I wanted to talk about the importance of taking breaks, like as an artist and as a creative and anything that you do. Sometimes it's really easy to like get super consumed. What the hell is that? What in the hell is that? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, they don't play. Oh, they do not play. Yo. He don't play. He about to eat something. He about to eat something. That's just a baby. Yo. Honestly, the last time I came to this park, I saw the biggest gator, bro. And it just started swimming towards me. Like, it was far. It was like at least a mile from me. And then it's just like coming right at me. I'm like, what the hell is up with these gators? You know what that means? I think that means that somebody's feeding them because like, why else would they be like so attracted to humans? And that's illegal, by the way. So anyways, hopefully a gator doesn't sneak up behind us, you know, yeah. So yeah, taking breaks is important. Sometimes it's really easy to like get super consumed in our craft because we love what we do, right? Like it's our passion. It's what we find joy in. But it's really easy for our art to become like the main thing in our life like sometimes I wake up and all I think is music to like go to sleep or like creation or anything that has to do with like making myself better at what I do getting me further in my goals and in everything that I do and that can really take away from other things in your life like your relationships your health mental and physical and just overall lifestyle like it can be really unhealthy to be so consumed in a hobby that it's like all your life yo this gator is just staring at me bro So right before I got into Dallas jamming and making music with hardware, I used to make music on the DAW, on Logic, and there was a time in between making music in the DAW and going completely Dallas that I made no music at all. And it was like almost two to three years where like I made no music. And I always saw it as a negative, like I took a break from music and it wasn't a conscious decision. It wasn't like, hey, I'm gonna take a break from music and you know, we'll come back to it whenever. Like it didn't really happen that way. Things in my life kind of just forced me to push music into the background and focused on other things. And I always saw that as a negative because like, obviously we want to be creating, right? Like we're artists and we have this need inside of us. Oh shit, it's swimming under the dock. It's swimming under the dock. And we have this need inside of us to create. And if we're not creating, then a part of us inside is not the happiest that we could be. So I always saw that as a negative, like, okay, did I lose my talent? Like, am I ever going to make music again? Like, you know, these are the questions that I asked myself. Like, music really became something that I used to do. Like, yeah, I used to play piano years ago. And I honestly thought that, like, that was it. And a lot of that had to do with like being uninspired in the way that I created music, like in the computer. So like discovering hardware and getting into like the synthesizer world really like brought up new excitement in my life and just sparked that creativity once again. But it was really needed. Like that break was really needed for like my health, my mental health, my physical health, my relationships. And not only that, but like if you're constantly creating, like, you know, there's a part in your brain that's just like going and going and going. And I feel like sometimes we do need to take a break from that. Like, let me know if like a gator, like, you know, if the gator like starts like. So if we're not creating or we feel like our music isn't as great as it used to be, because this is something that I used to struggle with a lot. I used to think like, oh, I wrote my best pieces when I was like 13, 14 years old and you know I'll never be able to get to that level again because that was just like such a magical moment I was writing classical piano and it was just beautiful like I'll never be able to reach that level again and once you put like that limit like you know you're doing that to yourself like you're the one telling yourself like that was my best moment but in reality your best moment is right now what you're doing right now what you're doing to get to that next level in your creation and being an artist is really a lifelong journey we take breaks sometimes and that's okay and that's kind of where i've been lately like taking a break from actual music creation because like there was a time from like 2017 to like early 2021 where i was like going hard every single day and like i said other things in my life needed attention and i constantly saw them being pushed back like by me and then eventually life kind of forces you to take a break like okay you're not gonna take a break on your own so you know we're gonna make you take a break and that's kind of what happened and i feel like this second time around like taking a break from music because i haven't really like made music daily for i don't know maybe three months four months um and this time i don't really see it like as a negative because it's like okay maybe i do need to focus on my health 
Maybe I do need to focus on my relationships. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking about synthesizers 24 seven. You know, like you have to ask the questions if you wanna know the answers. So if you're in the point in your life where like you feel like you're not inspired or maybe you've lost your gift, cause I used to feel like that during my long break. Like, okay, maybe God took my gift away for whatever reason, for being selfish, for being egotistic, you know? And art eventually finds its way back in you because that's how we express ourselves. That's the only way that we know how to express ourselves. We're artists, you know, we express what we're going through through our music. And that's the cool thing about music. Like if you listen to songs that I made 10 years ago, they're completely different than what I'm making today because I'm a completely different person. Like, you know, we're changing every single day, every second. You know, the body renews itself like every 11 months or something, fun fact. But just like we have to know when it's time to take a break, we also have to be conscious about when we're gonna come back because it's very easy to just be like, okay, I'm taking a break. And then that goes on to, as you saw, like two to three years from my experience. So it's like, how can you introduce yourself back to your art without having it be like stressful or without it taking over your life completely. I'm reading a book right now called The War on Art by Stephen Pressfield. I'm like in the middle of it, but so far what I've gotten from it is like there's this thing called resistance that artists feel. And one thing that real artists know that fake artists don't know is that the hardest part isn't creating. The hardest part is sitting down to create. And like that like pff, blew my mind because it's so true. Like the resistance of like sitting down to do your work is a lot harder than the work itself. That's why discipline always beats talent if you ask me because like it doesn't matter how much talent you have if you don't know how to use it properly like what are you gonna do with it? You need the discipline to like sit down and do your work. Sit down and make the music. Have it in your schedule, actually have it written down. Like I have a to-do list of like the ideas that I have that I need to get done. And it's just like, when are they gonna be executed? You need to plan things out and not have it be like, okay, I'm gonna do this. And like, this is the only thing that I'm gonna focus on because it's not that way. You know, you still have to focus on your life and on your family and on everything else. So it's okay to take breaks, but also be conscious of when you're gonna come back because that's the main goal. Because during this break, yes, it is nice, like it has been nice to not think about music, which is kind of strange because like I love music, right? But it has been nice to realize that other things do need my attention and like I'm getting those things in place and like things are, things are all coming together as they should. Everything happens exactly as it should. And once you realize this, it gives you such a peace of mind that like, you know, your creator, like I'm not trying to be religious or anything, but like, you know, I believe in a higher being that takes care of me and like wants the best for me and you know I feel like that's how you should live life like why would you not why would you not think that the universe wants the best for you and once you carry this mentality that like everything happens as it should if something doesn't work out that's okay like on to the next thing that thing guided you to something else and once you start looking at life that way it becomes a lot easier so if you're taking a break from music it's okay it's okay to take a break but just be conscious about when you're gonna come back do the things that you have to do and then remember music is always going to be inside of you and it needs to come out so remember to come back that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video cool exciting things happening so don't forget to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss another video stay fresh guys and i'll catch you in the next one stay fly